Hello everybody, I hope that everybody's doing well and I just want to take here some minutes to explain some of the changes that I made to our course because now the semester is going to be um, taught all online so I just wanted to go through you here in the course uh, website so I'm here on ernestamaral.com slash sochi 312 springhtml So that's our course website. And uh, here, as you know, we have the syllabus right at the top. And the video that you are watching now is this one here. It's right at the top of our course website. So I just want to show you the syllabus here first, some of the changes that I, I did here to this document. So here we, I just read in the first page, I explain that all our lectures will be uh, pre-recorded and will be provided on the course website as I'm going to show you. So these are the lectures between March 24th and May 5th. Everything that we're going to teach now for the rest of spring 2020. And uh, we will also have online sessions in which you can ask questions and then I, I will answer them. And they will be conducted on Thursdays. The Thursday that, that we were already going to have regular classes. So they will be transferred to video conference. So these are the dates that we have them. And they're going to happen at the same time as our previous regular uh, sessions for the semester. And uh, so this is the link. This is the, uh, the video conference link that we're going to use for all the online sessions that we're going to have throughout for the rest of the semester. And during all this period, all the quizzes, exams and assignments, they will be submitted through eCampus. We already had done quizzes through eCampus, so they will continue, but now the exams will also be done through eCampus. And uh, assignments, they, we, you already had one assignment, and we're going to have the second one also submitted through eCampus, as the first one was done as well. Uh, because some of you might be working uh, the range of time that the quizzes and exams will be available on, e on eCampus will be bigger, will be wider. So for quizzes, they will be available on eCampus from 3.30 to 8 p.m. on Thursdays, on exactly those dates here. And no password will be required to answer them. And in this case, here, each one of these quizzes is worth 2.5 points. And... Um, from now on, you're going to be able to see just one question at a time, and you cannot go back to uh, correct the previous answer that you have done. So that's the difference that we're going to have. And the previous quizzes, they were worth only one point. Now we're going to have uh, 2.5 points, so probably you're going to have five questions per, per quiz. Uh, exam 3 on April 2nd and the final exam on May 5th, as previously we had scheduled them. They will be available on the campus, in this case from 1 to 8 p.m. But you're going to have only 1 hour and 15 minutes to answer the questions, both for exam 3 and final exam, within this time range here. And I will uh, provide more information uh, right after we go back to the course website now. No password will be required as well for those. Assignment 2 will be about Chapter 15, Population Policy, and it's due on April 23rd, and it's worth uh, two bonus points. And finally, students should complete the end of the term teaching evaluation, which will be available um, on April 15th through the 29th. And as you know, if at least 90% of students complete this teaching evaluation, and this is the website, epica.tamu.edu, the whole class will get two points, uh, two bonus points toward the final grade. And uh, just 
I highlight here that you should look at the summary uh, at the end of the of the syllabus with that has the calendar that kind of like shows uh, the exact dates of each one of these activities. And um, I will be also available for office hours, also through video conference. Notice that the link here for video conference for office hours is different from the, the class up here. The class, when you log in, everybody gets already into the class uh, room. In this one here, you're going to be placed in a waiting room. So after I finish talking to the previous student that entered in the, in the chat, I will um, add the, the other student one by one. And uh, if you cannot make the office hours, which are on Wednesdays from 1.30 to 3.30 p.m., uh, you can request uh, office hours for other times, as we have done before, but before it was in person, but you can do the same now, and we can schedule a video conference to talk to me, but we're going to use the same address here for office hours. So, um, I just want to go through here a little bit. The, this is, again, the link for office hours, for video conference, everything here is the same. Um, same thing here, we already had exam 1 and 2, and we had already 10 quizzes that were worth in total 10%, so we have 10% to go. We already had assignment 1, and you already had the chance, but not at least 90% answered, the 90% of students answered the early feedback, so you did not get this 2% here. And I'm giving the chance again to get the two bonus, so don't forget to answer the teaching evaluation in this website uh, within this two-week range here. So, I mean, some of these things here are related to in-class exams, but like as I mentioned, they will be done through eCampus now. So let's just go on towards the end into the calendar. So here is the calendar of like topics that we have already done and I made it clear here when we had quizzes before. If you had, uh, if you missed a quiz for an excusable absence, just send me an email and we reopen the quiz so you can uh, try to get the, the point related to that quiz. And um, the same thing uh, uh, applies for exam. If you have missed an exam and for an excusable absence, just let me know. And from now on, all the lectures, they will be pre-recorded and available on the course website. So I highlight this here in red. For the fertility, uh, topic, we have not seen the last two topics within Fertility, so I made the lecture available already in the course website. And I will do the same for the next ones. So we were a little bit behind, we were supposed to have started the Fertility and Sexuality before spring break, but we have not started it yet, but I will uh, pre-record the lecture and make it available in the course website. So these two classes were cancelled, and uh, so by this coming Tuesday, March 24th, I will upload the lecture about uh, female, uh, the family and sexuality. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to break the lectures into shorter lectures so it doesn't get like uh, too many minutes. So I might try to make the lectures no more than 20 minutes per video. And here on Thursday this week, this coming week, we will have our first session through video conference if you can attend on Zoom. And the quiz 11, see now it's not only one point as before, it's going to be 2.5 points, so five questions, 0.5 points per question. And it's going to be available on eCampus from 3.30 to 8.00 no password required. So these lectures will be available in the course website. Exam 3 on April 2nd, it's going to be available on eCampus from 1 to 8 p.m. No password required. The same thing 
for the other quizzes as well. But see, quizzes, they go from 3.30 to 8. Exam goes from 1 to 8. So more time here. And the final exam, which is on uh, May 5th, also goes from 1 to 8. And all the other lectures here will be available online. I will keep posting as I post them into the course website. I will send in an email saying that I posted about chapter 5, chapter 6, 7, 8, and 9. And exam 3 will cover the content that comes from uh, family and sexuality. So, and also the two uh, final points, final topics on fertility, which is uh, fertility trends in the U.S. and male fertility. So it will be also part of exam three, and the videos are available in the course website. The family and sexuality, contraception, birth control. There will be the material covered on exam three. And then mortality, internal migration, and international migration in the final exam. If um, so, that these are going to be the topics of exam three and four and final exam. And you also have the possibility of getting two extra points, two bonus points by submitting assignment two, which the instructions are already available in the course website and it's due on April 23rd. So that's going to be about chapter 15. So let's just go back to the uh, course website now. And um, so here, we, so we just saw the syllabus. This is the video that you're just watching now. And here I just mentioned the same things that are available in the, in the, in the syllabus at the beginning. Uh, lectures will be pre-recorded, online sessions through video conference on these specific dates at this time. During all this period, quizzes, exams, and assignments will be submitted through eCampus. So just remember, going to eCampus, we have the, uh, let's see if I remember my password now, one, two, three, and yay. Oh, I have to do this thing here. Just do this really quick and we will continue all the security. So let's go. Uh, so in our class, Population and Society, uh, as you know, the, the assessments here, we have assignment one and assignment two. This is due on April 23rd. You cannot see these quizzes now anymore because they are all hidden because the deadline passed. But like I said, if you miss some of them for an excusable uh, absence, just let me know. Just send me an email and they'll reopen it to you. I will change the password and send it only to you. So you should be the only person that uh, answered that quiz. But I will add the other five quizzes as we go on, as we go through uh, the semester. And uh, so this is pretty much the main thing that you have to look here. And the exam three and the final exam, I will also add them to the same list here. So it's going to be under this, these quizzes here. Okay. So just going back to the course website. If you have not uh, installed Zoom to do video conference in your computer, here are some instructions. This is a PDF file. So you can just open it. And um, here I just give some uh, main information about the Zoom. This is the link that we're going to use for our uh, question and answer sessions. And if you do not have a Zoom app, once you click in this URL, you'll be asked to download it. And you should join with video and allow your computer to have audio as well. If you cannot join with video, just call this phone number and we're going to join this group. 
and the Zoom session is muted as you enter, so please stay muted unless I call on you. So just when you click here, you're going to be come to this window, and if you have Zoom installed, which I have, then I will click here. If you don't have it, then you have to download and run Zoom. Um, so I will open here, and when I open it, then I will enter the room. So I can uh, unmute myself and start the video, and I will be able to manage the participants here. So that's how it's going to look, and the video is going to look uh, open over here. Um, so just going back here to the Zoom, and if you want to ask a question, you can raise your hand and I explain you how to do it in, in the Zoom software and some other considerations about what you should take into account to make our conversation easier throughout those sessions. Back to the course website. Here, again, this is the link to the online sessions. It's the same link that's within the PDF. So if you just click here, you're going to go to that same place, right? So that's the same thing. Let me just close this windows through Zoom here so it doesn't give me the, those, those information, that information anymore. And now I try to organize, put some more space here just to be easy to find things. The teaching and course evaluation, I try to make it really clear that you have from April 15th through April 29th to answer the teaching evaluation so you get two bonus points only if 90% of students complete the, the teaching evaluation. And these lectures here are the same. But then, just going to go to, oh yeah, uh, this, one, this was already done. So, the, just the, the fertility. So, here, the lecture on fertility should download it again because I added some uh, diagrams about proximate, for, uh, proximate determinants of fertility, which I had uh, drawn on the blackboard in the classroom but then I just made them as slides. So this one here, framework for predicting fertility, and then this one here that I go in more detail, framework for approximate determinants of fertility, and I list the variables in each one of them. So I made those little changes, so it would be good if you can download them. And here I put the lectures about fertility change in the US and male fertility. So let's just go back to the PDF of chapter four. If you go to the beginning of it, in the previous lectures, we had gone through introduction, through this part about framework for predicting fertility, which is proximate determinants of fertility, word fertility trends and patterns. So we had seen those ones. So I made a video that covers this part here and a video that covers this part here. I made it separate so the video is not so long. So the first one is this one here. So they are both under uh, uh, 20 minutes. So this is fertility change in the US and this one here is male fertility. And um, exam two already passed. And for the for family and sexuality, before our regular class time on March 24th, I will post the lectures here, okay? And uh, so this is the classes that was supposed to be 16 and 19. So we had spring break, classes canceled. And then on day 20th the, and 21, we have concept, uh, contraception and birth control. And then we add the videos right here for contraception and birth control. Exam 3. I explained, this is the link to go to eCampus, that's just ecampus.tamu.edu. And this is the online exam uh, guide. So this is a PDF file that I give you an explanation about how the online exam will happen. You should read it. So pretty much same format as before, 50 multiple choice questions at 0.4 points each for a total of 20 points. It will be available on eCampus between 1 and 8 p.m. 
you will have, once you begin, you have one hour, 15 minutes to complete the exam. The exam will shut down once the time limit has reached. So pay attention to the clock. The exam will close once the deadline has been reached, even if you only just started the exam. So this means you should start the exam at the latest, one hour and 15 minutes before it closes. And you will not see, you will only see one question at a time. So because of that, I give you some suggestions here about time management during your exam, suggestions for internet connections, and if you have problems, tell me in advance. So just read these uh, instructions carefully. And this same online exam guide, it's for the final exam as well. For mortality, as I same thing as before, I will be add the lectures here, the videos. Also for internal migration, I will add them down here, and for international migration as well. And for the final exam, this online exam guide is the same one as the one before. For the population policy, the lecture related to chapter 15, it's an extra reading as it is for race, ethnicity, and the earth in the 21st in 22nd centuries, but um, for this one here, we're going to have assignment two, and it's already available, the instructions. So it's pretty much, that's the purpose, just do a zoom here. Uh, governments influence demographic change through population policies. This assignment helps you understand previous and current policies, as well as envision how these interventions might affect future population growth, composition, and challenges. So the task, consider the importance of population policies, write an essay describing each of the three world population conferences held in 74, 84, and 84. What was the intended focus of each conference and what did each conference achieve? Why was, the, why was there no conference held in 2004? Give examples and explain major policies affecting fertility, mortality, and migration. This is the format up to 200 words and you just submit it through eCampus and as I mentioned before you can already submit it it's already available on eCampus the link there the ones that are not available yet are quizzes from quizzes 11 through 15 and exam 3 and exam uh, and final exam but they will be available on the dates and times that I mentioned in the syllabus so these are the changes that I, I did to the website. So just go back to the top here. And please just let me know if you have any questions and I'm, a, I'm available on by email and uh, I'm also be available for office hours in the regular time through video conference and also on the sessions for question and answers on these times. Okay, so thank you very much and let's have a great end of the semester.